Still negative contact, but we're good, Joe Agnes, Juliet. Charlie, Foxtrot, Whiskey Tower on departure flight, runway heading. I will call your northbound turn when 2708, clear takeoff runway 30. Fly runway heading, clear takeoff 30, Charlie, Foxtrot, Whiskey. Whiskey, any Bravo Tower, turn base. Any base, Whiskey, any Bravo. All right. P's and P's are good, manifold pressure, RPM's good. Airspeed's alive. Foxtrot, Foxtrot, back to back tower, remain clear, we don't get back to you. Foxtrot Echo Uniform Hotel, Austin Tower. Hotel Echo Uniform Hotel, uh, we're at... Uh, You're up. Fourth West off of Brooklyn, request... Uh, clear Victor Papa Tower, clear to land runway 30. Clear to land, clear Victor Papa. Welcome everybody. With the crappy weather we've been having, I haven't flown in about a month. So it's been a while since I've gotten up, and this is a little bit later than I wanted to get this video out. But, uh, finally got a nice day, thought I'd come up here, and I thought I'd do a little bit of a recap of 2023. And talk a bit about what I'm thinking about for 2024. Um, before I do that though, just want to say a really big thank you to all the viewers of my videos. Whether you've been following me since I started this back in 2021, or whether this is the first time you're seeing my face, uh, really appreciate the time you guys take out of your day to watch my videos. It really means a lot to me. And especially for, for those who kind of reach out and tell me they, you know, like my videos, value what, uh, what I say, like the approach that I use in my videos, uh, it really does mean a lot to me. So thank you very much. Really appreciate it. The joys of GoPros. My GoPro sitting on my instrument panel pointing at my face that records all the audio actually crapped out on me halfway through the flight, so I'll have to do the rest of this as this voiceover. Uh, in any case, 2023 was a little bit of a slow flying year for me, but I did manage to get in almost 58 hours of flying time over about 30 flights. Um, most of that though, at least over half of it, came in just a handful of larger flights. Well, big for me, anyway. Those flights included New York, Montreal, Raleigh, Oshkosh, and then Nashville in the fall. Back in March, I flew down to uh, Teterboro Airport just outside New York City uh, for some work meetings, and uh, it was the busiest airport that I've flown into. And I learned how to keep my speed up so the jets behind me wouldn't run me down. Charlie, don't Charlie, Fox, what's your speed? Uh, about 130 true. Okay, no slower than that. I gotta keep you fast. I'm hooking you up here. And then in May, my wife and I flew down to Raleigh, Durham to attend the graduation ceremony for her nephew, who had been doing his master's at uh, North Carolina State. I made a mistake during the departure phase that taught me a really important lesson. November, uh, correction, a Charlie Foxtrot Whiskey you should be at 7,000. Raleigh altimeter is 3013, showing you 7,500. 3013, and descending out, Charlie Foxtrot. And then in July, got to check off a bucket list item, flew down to Oshkosh uh, with my buddy Neil. Not sure I'm going to do that again this year. We'll see how the year pans out. He just Over needed to pass us. What the f***ing Fisk? Dude, what is wrong with you? Upon reaching Puckaway Lake, pick out an aircraft with similar wow. performance. We need to wow. have silent trail. Uh, and then uh, in October, I flew down to Nashville, which was actually a really fun trip. And I ended up spending a lot of that time in IMC, which uh, really built my experience and my confidence there. Shortly after takeoff, I was back into the soup and I stayed in the clouds in IMC for most of the three-hour flight down to Nashville. Other than those big trips, I mostly just little, did little short local hops for sightseeing or just to get up for the sake of getting up. And of course, the other thing, big thing that happened in 2023 was I upgraded my panel. The uh, plane was down for a couple months for that, but I absolutely love it. I'm still getting used to the panel, but really, really am liking the capabilities that it gives me. It's just so much more powerful than the old six-pack that I had here. But what's next? Um, 2024, I'm not really sure exactly what we're going to end up doing. I, I do know I want to fly at least as much as I did in 23. Uh, my wife and I are thinking about doing a few bigger trips for the year. Uh, the good thing is she wants to get up with me more than she did in 23. She actually hasn't even been up with me in the front seat since I got the panel upgraded. And so she hasn't actually kind of gotten familiar with all this yet. And so she wants to come up with me, get familiar with it, learn how to, to tune the radio and that sort of thing so she can help out a little bit. Uh, but we've also got some, some trips planned. We want to do some, some weekend trips. You know, just take off for a few days, check out a destination we've never been to or haven't been, been to in a while. Like, uh, you know, maybe go down to Raleigh-Durham again, maybe go to Killarney, Montreal. Um, 
Uh, but there's a few longer trips that we'd like to do this year. Um, we're thinking maybe Charleston, South Carolina for a weekend. Uh, maybe check out Savannah, Georgia. Go back to Nashville. My wife's never been there. Uh, New Orleans. We both love New Orleans, so we're thinking about going there um, and haven't been there for several years now. Uh, and then we might go back to Florida again, possibly for uh, Sun and Fun for my first time there uh, in April. Uh, and then the other big trip we're planning, or thinking about anyway, is out to the east coast of the Atlantic provinces for a little bit of a vacation. And when I mentioned that to my wife, what, uh, her first question was, ooh, can we go check out some sea shanties? Soon may the Cayman gum with birds and mice and some tasty nums. Uh, which, if you know my wife, is not the reaction you would expect from her, um, but she loves that fisherman music. So, uh, so yeah, so hopefully we get to go out to Halifax and go to some bars and check out some sea shanties. But nothing's finalized yet in terms of scope. We're still figuring out, and of course we'll do some last minute trips as well. Uh, and if you guys have any suggestions for, for cool little weekend destinations, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Reach out. Um, let me know what you think. If there's any places within a few hours flying in Toronto that we could get to easily, um, happy to go check them out. The other thing I'm looking forward to is a little bit of collaboration with some other YouTubers. Uh, there's a few I've been chatting with and we've talked about wanting to get up and do something together, so we'll see if any of that pans out. Uh, and of course, I'd love to meet any of you if you're in the Toronto area or if you're uh, in a place where we happen to be going, um, let me know, we'd love to meet up. Thank you again for watching not just this video, but my channel in general. It really does mean a lot to me. I'll see you in the next video, which hopefully won't be too far away. And in the meantime, as always, fly safe. All right, 82, 81 knots. Pull it down, I'm a bit high. Charlie Foxheart, Whiskey Tower, wind 26. Zero at nine, clear to land runway three zero. Clear to land three zero, Charlie. Let's go, whiskey. The papi not working. Moscowska whiskey tower number two, falling traffic, half mile final. Number two, I'm looking for traffic. Go for the whiskey. Drop ten and ten two. Foxer Golf Alpha Romeo Tower, are you ready to go? Ready to go, Foxer Golf Alpha Romeo. Golf Alpha Romeo Tower at Bravo, line up and wait runway 30. Line up and wait runway 30, Golf Alpha Romeo. Charlie Fox Trout Whiskey Tower, exit right onto runway 05, contact ground 118.41 off. Right on 05, contact ground 1 off, Charlie Fox Trout Whiskey.